Hi Vogue, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another makeup look, but with a little bit of a twist. So I've been super busy with finals, but as a teenager, as a millennial, am I a millennial? I think I'm a Gen Z actually. I'll figure that out later. But as a whatever I am, I spend a lot of time on my phone, particularly Instagram. So I've been on my Instagram explore page a lot recently, and the other day, I found a picture that mesmerized me. The caption read, um, I can't look on my phone right now because that's what I'm using to film, but I think the caption read the chillest monkey in the world. And I literally spent like 10 minutes staring at this monkey. Its eyes just caught me and I was just staring at it for so long thinking, this is the chillest monkey. They're absolutely right. And you know what the next thought that came into my mind was? Do a makeup look, Ty. So going into this, I didn't want to be unprepared and unknowledgeable about what the monkey was because literally it did not tell me what the monkey was on that caption. So I had to go looking for it. The name of this monkey is the Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey. I have my notes right here because I did a lot of research on it because when I looked up this monkey, I found out that this was an endangered animal. I think it's more classified as threatened versus endangered. There's a whole bunch of like tiers to the endangered species list. It's like um, in risk, threatened, endangered, and then extinct. Hopefully we never get to extinct, but the way things are going right now, I'm really scared. I found out that this monkey was threatened and then a whole new idea came into my mind that while me as an individual, I can't do a whole lot about global warming and the state of the world right now, but I can do a small part and I have a tiny little platform that I can spread a message to. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna be starting a new series where I do makeup looks inspired by endangered or threatened species. And in that series, I'm gonna be talking about the animal, why they're endangered, specs on the animal, whatever. I'll just be talking about the animal a lot. The goal of this is to start a conversation really because asking people to do things and forcing people to do it doesn't work all the time. You have to have get people to be passionate about it. So the conversation I'm hoping is gonna happen is you wear this makeup look out and someone be like, oh my God, your makeup looks bomb.com, what? inspired you or just like someone will say your makeup looks so good and then you can say thanks it's inspired by the golden snub nosed monkey did you know they're endangered you should really read up on it and maybe they'll just be so inspired by your makeup look that they will and then they'll be like i should do something about this you know it's kind of like a complicated thought process right now but hopefully it works since i have my base all down i'm going to start with the eyes and I'm just using my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Golden Snub Nose Monkey. As you can tell by the picture, Golden Snub Nose Monkey has a blue face with orange around it, and it doesn't have any nasal bones. So this part is just kind of like inverted. The golden snub-nosed monkeys are native to the snowy mountaintops of China, Central and Southwest China, and they live in extremely cold weather. And I'm going in, in this Morphe palette. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to get this shade here. I'm not really sure what it's called. And I'm going to tap off the excess just onto my table. And I'm just going to lay a flat base. So they live in extremely high altitudes up to 3,500 meters above sea level. And they actually, the reason why they don't have noses is so they don't get frostbite. And I'm, this will be kind of back and forth between the makeup and talking about the golden snub nose monkey. But I'm going to be pushing this more into the crease because I think I'm going to try this lighter blue color here in the center. So the golden snub-nosed monkey are actually um, family animals, 
they're what is considered a K-type animal. K-type animals, basically, they give they have a long gestation period when they get pregnant, so that means it takes a while for them to develop the baby, and then once the baby is born, they raise it themselves. And the opposite of that is an, an R-type animal, which means that they have a shorter gestation period, they typically live shorter time periods, and they don't raise their young. They actually live in very large groups, and their groups are called bands, and they live in bands up to 600. So I have that down, now I'm gonna take this kind of more um, bright blue color, and I'm gonna lay that more in the center. But using the same brush, and I'm just gonna tap off the excess. And you would think that since they're such a family animal, they would be okay with their own kind, but that is actually not the case. They're extremely territorial, which I'll get more into in just a second. The um, golden snub-nosed monkey, they live 23 to 26 years in the wild. The golden snub-nosed monkey is also an herbivore, so I, I hope we all know what an herbivore is. The monkey actually spends most of its life in the trees, so they get all their food from the trees, they sleep in the trees, they do everything in the trees, as far as I'm aware. I'm not an expert, okay? Three subspecies of the golden snub-nosed monkey. The first is a excuse my pronunciation, it's a Mao Pin Golden Snub. It's estimated that there's roughly 10,000 of them in the wild. So I'm gonna take this middle orangish color here, and I'm just using the same brush, and I'm gonna start blending that into whatever. The second subspecies of the Golden Snub Nose Monkey is the Hube, Hube? It's definitely not Hube. Hube, I'm going to say, Hube, snub nose, and there are roughly a thousand to two thousand of that subspecies in the wild. I'm going to take this top orange shade now to kind of uh, cancel what I just did out because I didn't like that at all. And the third subspecies of the snub nose monkey is the Quinling. Qui I know in Chinese, the Q is pronounced differently, and there is roughly 4,000 of this subspecies in the wild. So the golden snub-nosed monkey are endangered because of habitat loss, and the main cause of habitat loss in their environment is because of deforestation for agricultural use. And since their habitat is getting smaller, I almost said shorter, since their habitat is getting smaller and since they're such a territorial species that the golden snub-nosed monkeys are getting pushed closer together and that rises a lot of conflict between the species. And also since there's deforestation, we're cutting down all the trees that they live in. I'm gonna cut and do the other eye and then we'll do the fun part which is all the highlight that I'm gonna do to create the effect of the orange face. I'm embarrassed, I just realized that my contour isn't blended all the way. So I'm just gonna refrain from turning my head to the side <laughs> because I don't know if I can fix that. My skills aren't to that level. But now for the fun part, we're gonna do all the highlight and the shading of the orange. So I kinda got it easy, I have tan skin already, but we're gonna kinda emphasize that and add more orange undertones to it. I've actually already told you all the facts I've gathered, gathered on the um, golden snub-nosed monkey, but, but, that doesn't mean there's, that's all there is to know about the golden snub-nosed monkey. I just want to give you guys a little taste of it so you guys will get interested and be like, I want to know more about the golden snub-nosed monkey. And I'm going to take the same orange I did in my, and I'm just going to start blocking that in on my cheekbones, my nose, and above my eyebrows. So I guess I'll kind of explain more why I was into this idea. I should, I kind of been doing this video backwards, but you know what? I don't really care. I've always been drawn to animals that 
don't have it the easiest in life, I guess you can call it. When I was in kindergarten, I did, we had to do like a sculpture about a, an endangered animal. And I did a sculpture of a very fat cheetah. A very fat cheetah. And that was just the start of it. Then after that, I did a whole research paper about polar bears when I was in second grade. And I, I've just always kind of done stuff about animals. I've, I love animals. They're so good to us, even though we are not the best to them. I'm going to go into this orangey shade on the um, Kilowatt Foil Fenty Mimosa Sunrise just to add more glow and pigment. Blend it into the hairline so it looks kind of seamless. Ooh, we're getting that golden part of the golden snub nose monkey. All right. I've always loved this highlighter, but I've just never found a reason to put it all over my face before. Until now. Oh boy, oh boy. You've got another thing coming for you if you think I'm done with highlighter. We're now gonna go into this color in the Fenty Chill Out palette. I've never known what the name is. I think it's Heartburn. Heartburn. And I'm gonna blend this towards the eye in that little gap we've left. And then on the outside by the hairline. Cause this is a more pinky tone. So we're gonna put that more on the outsides. I'm taking this empty brush just to kind of seamlessly blend everything except for my contour because that's down and laid and out of the picture of ugliness so now I feel very orange and I don't want to be as orange I want this to be like a kind of avant-garde wearable look Fenty bronzer in Island Ting and I'm gonna just warm up the edges Mostly my hair. I should have just not contoured at all, honestly. I'm gonna take this kind of shimmer shade and just pop that in the inner corner. Too much in my eye. Smoke it out, I will do a little bit of orange. And I just tapped it all away, I think. I'm getting emotional because I feel like I'm not doing all that well. Just like explaining my point about the Golden Stun Nose Monkey, like why I'm doing this in general. And I guess that's kind of like a story for another time because I feel that way about a lot of things in my life. But like you'll have this idea in your head and then it just won't translate or like you're scared people won't understand. I just, I get really passionate about things like this because I just don't understand why people don't care about the earth or about animals or about other things in life except for themselves. But that's just the society we live in, okay? Ty, you got it? Not everyone's gonna care as much as you. Not everyone's gonna understand and that's okay. You just gotta do you. Let's do some eyebrows, that'll make me feel better. I'm gonna do a very thin line of black eyeliner. So when I put my lashes on, they'll kind of blend more. It's hard to know what you can do for the world when the people who are in power don't want to do anything. I'm gonna pop on some lashes real quick. Okay, so I added some lashes and I put on some Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip in the shade poet it doesn't really match but it's not that bad um i'm kind of disappointed in how this video turned out i really like the look but i feel like i strayed away from kind of like the narrative i was trying to tell because i didn't know a whole lot about the golden snub nose monkey which is my fault but I covered the basics of it, okay? I tried my darndest. 
But this is the completed look, the golden snub-nosed monkey look. I got carried away when I decided to put some highlighter on my body. I think the look looks really cool though. I, I like it a lot. I don't think I'd go out in it though. But you know what? I will for you, golden snub-nosed monkey, just to get people to say, what the heck is she wearing? Or, uh, oh my god, why do you look like that? And you'd be like, for you, golden snub-nosed monkey. So that is all I have for you guys today. This will be the first episode in like a series I may or may not do depending on the feedback I get, I guess. I'm trying to be self-confident here and know that like my intention for doing this video is good even though it may not have translated properly. Hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to start a conversation about what the consequences of our actions to the world are and like put a face to some of the animals that are going, that are in danger because of us. I'm getting emotional. Oh, I just, it's hard cause like, you feel like you can't do a lot. And when you try and do something, people just call you a hippie about it or something, or like ask why you even care or say that what you're doing won't do anything to make a difference. But we gotta start trying, gotta think of out of the idea, out of the idea, out of the box ideas to get people to care. And if anything, if people see this video and wanna make fun of me for it, at least it will start a conversation about why did she do this? Why does she look so freaking weird? <laughs> Uh, I'm just really concerned. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we can do to undo centuries worth of destruction. Sorry, that got, I went to a place. Smile! <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope it got you guys interested. Hope it got you guys to start thinking. I'll see you guys next week or the week after. Bye. Oh, wait, what's my thing? Bye!